everyone and um, welcome to a new video. My name is Solomi Abiola and I am your fashion teacher and today I want us to do something a little different. Um, today I want to teach you about measurements. Measurements, measurements, measurements. Many people have problems with measurements. They are never sure if they are taking the right measurement or not and then I know that at times um, you want to take measure. You want to measure yourself, or you want to measure a friend. Maybe to send to someone. You may not even know how to sew, or you may not be interested in sewing. Just want to take. You just want to know how to take measurement. So I thought, um, let me do this video to um, show or to help people who actually need to take measurement. So I think this video will be helpful to um, many of us. Um, today I am not alone. I've got a um, model and I'm giving it here today. Her name is Ray. Let's say hello to everyone. <laughs> and then I'm going to be using it out to show you how to take measurements. Okay, so um, we're ready to start. But before we go on, I'm going to quickly say something. Um, usually I categorize measurements into two. So I categorize measurements into body measurements and the length measurements. So body measurements are those measurements um, that measure circumferences around the different parts of the body. And length measurements are those where you measure distance from one place to the other. So I am going to explain. Now, I feel like I'm going to ask you to stand up so that um, I can show people what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'll need you to come here. Now, when you want to measure anybody, you want to start measurement, it is very important that person number one stands straight and upright. So, I mean, um, it is just if, um, if, you, if the person you're measuring is slouching, can you slouch a little, you probably get a wrong measurement. Or if the person is standing like this, a person is standing like this, a person is on the phone, you're going to get a wrong measurement. So you don't want that. Anybody you're measuring, you need them to stand properly, you need them to stand straight. That is number one. Number two, when you're taking measurements, you need the person to wear um, minimal, minimal clothing. So um, something fitted that shows them the shapes, the curves of the body. It allows you to take proper measurements. So for instance, if you look up there, she's wearing a t-shirt and jeans. I can easily measure her and then there's no false, there's no false bulk to her body. But say she's wearing like an abaja, something really bulky, it's going to add like a false, um, a false, um, there'll be a false addition to her body. So um, make sure that um, the person you're measuring is, uh, is wearing proper clothing and the person is standing well. So those are the two um, basic tips I usually um, say when you want to take measurements. So, um, you know, the other time we're talking about body measurements. So when you measure circumference, say, um, anything that goes around the body, you want to measure like this, you want to measure like this, you want to measure like this. Those are body measurements. So what are you doing? You're basically measuring circumferences around different parts of the body. But when you measure distance from one place to another, so you want to measure distance from here to here, here to here, here to here, you know, basically, you know, you're measuring distance. That's um, that's what you call length measurement. Those are the two categories of measurements. So um, let me start from um, the basics. I am going to start from the bust, which is number one. Now, what is the bust? The bust is usually the widest part of the upper upper part of the body, and then um, it's the fullest part um, of the upper part of a woman. And then this is how you do. You take your table around the body, and then you measure the apex. Like that's the point where the breasts are the fullest. So you see. And when you're measuring, what I usually do is put a finger in it. Now, what does this help me to do? It makes sure when I put a finger in it, I'm trying to make sure that um, the measurement I'm taking is not too tight. It's not too free. It just has the perfect fit on the person's body. So I put a finger in it. And then I ask her, is this okay for you, for your boss? And then if it's alright, she's going to tell me yes. If it's not, she's going to tell me no. Basically, when you're making clothes for somebody, you want to measure exactly how the person likes the clothes to be. So, um, for instance, if she likes her clothes to be really fitted and tight. Um, so, how do you like the clothes? Fitted. So, if she likes it to be fitted, that means the tape measure will be like an exact um, exact measurement you know so we have 32.5 if you check with tape you're going to have 32.5 if yeah, she says she likes her clothes to be really tight even though that's not that's not very realistic but since she likes it to be very tight you need to measure exactly like that so if she does like this you need to measure her like that it's not realistic though but if you're trying to want that you need to and then another thing is when you're measuring if you um, turn this can you turn to the back 
Can you see? Your tape measure needs to be like on the same level with where the bust is, which is like here. If you're measuring the bust and the tape measure is somewhere here, and when you're measuring the bust is the bust, you're going to get a wrong figure. So it is very important you measure properly and then you make sure that your tape measure is on the same level. So yeah, that's how to um, measure the bust. Now, before I go on, I forgot to mention to you that the tape rule is pretty much the same all over the world. And then there are two sides. We have um, this side, which is in inches, and the other side, which is in centimeters. So you can decide to do whichever one. When you use the one in inches, you are measuring the, with the imperial system. And then when you use the one um, in centimeters, you are measuring with the metric system. So you can use any one. The metric system is much more modern. And the imperial system is um, the older method of um, taking measurements, but you can use any one. I am, I am used to um, taking my measurements in inches, but you can take yours in centimeters as long as you measure properly and then you can document properly. So yeah, that's like um, for the bust measurement. Now, um, another measurement I do is the length to bust point or the length to the under bust. Now, this part, which is the apex um, of the of the boobs. Is um, where the on where the apex where the, this part which is the apex of the boobs is where the bust points are. So um, any measurement I am taking in front, any length measurement I am taking in front, I usually start from this place. Now this point is where the front bone and the back bone join. So there's like I forgot the name of the bone in science, but there's a bone here which joins the front, which separates the front from the back. So I usually take my measurements from there. And then if you look at the shoulder, you can see the shoulder slant. So because the shoulder slant, I'm careful not to measure from anywhere apart from this place. Because this is like the beginning of the slant. If you measure from anywhere lower than this point, yeah, you're going to get a false uh, figure because it's going to be shorter. There's a slant there, so it's going to be shorter. So I take my measurements from here. So um, I want to measure the less boss point. I measure from this point, I take it over here to where the apex of the boss is. So I can, you can see I have 11 and a half. So that's um, that's a length of boss point. And if I want to measure length to the under boss, I go ahead up to um, just below a boss. So here I have about 14. So that is a length to under boss. Now um, I want to measure the neck to waist now, which is the number four. When, I, when you measure neck to waist, so when I measure, I like to measure from the back. Because if I measure from the front, because of, um, because of uh, the breast area in the front, it can give me a false figure. So the best place to measure neck to um, waist is from the back. So I measure from here. Remember what I told you about the joining of the bone in front and the one at the back? So I measure from here and then I go all the way down. So the curve just um, to the point where just before the curve of the um, of the ass comes out. So I'm going to have 16 and a half because after the 16 and a half, you can see there's a curve to form that round um, shape. So I stop at um, 16 and a half. So that is um, a nail to waist. Now um, I'm going to measure a waist now. For the waist measurement, there are two different types of waist. We have the natural waist and then we have the lower waist. The natural waist is um, is where a dress is on. That's like the waist you use for dresses, the waist you use for blouses. And then it's um, usually about two inches above the belly button. So if I have to measure a natural waist, I go like this. So basically, if you take a rope, even if you close your eyes and then you just take something and tie it around that waist, that point that falls there is the natural waist. And then if you see, you can see that it's about, um, if this is a belly button, it's about two inches above a belly button, that is the natural waist. And then you need this um, waist measurement for dresses and for tops. So a natural waist is about um, 25 inches. That's the natural waist. If you have to make skirts or you have to make trousers, then you need the lower waist, which is um, what I call the skirt waist. It's much more down. And then you may need to ask um, where the person puts a skirt or trousers. So if you have to ask you where, where you put your trousers in your skirt, below here. So it is very important to ask the person and you measure exactly that point. 
So yeah, if I measure her, don't forget everybody measurements we put a finger in it. So I have 28. So that's gonna be um waist um um fit um lower waist it is 28. Our upper waist, like we said, is um 25. Um the upper waist is usually smaller than the lower waist, so um for regular body shapes. Some shapes differ and uh, they defy all the regular rules of body measurements and all of that, you know. Um, but the basic body shapes, um, the upper waist is usually um, smaller than the lower waist. Now let's go to the hip. The hip is the widest part of the lower body, just like the bust is the widest part of the upper body. So to measure the waist, just take it round, just take your table, take measure, take it round the body, and then you should be able to bring it down and bring it up. Now, if it's too free, then you know that, okay, whatever you're going to make will be too free on the person. So you need it to just add a good fit, not too tight. You must be able to go through. So, um, I'm using 37 for her. Can I go down? Yes. Can I come up? Yes. If I um, decide to reduce it to 36, let me try if I can still go down. Yes, I'll go down. It's more fitted now. So if she likes her clothes to be fitted, this can still go down, but it's much more fitted. So I can say, because she told me already she likes her clothes to be fitted, I can say that it will be 36 if she likes it to be fitted because it can still go up and then it can still go down. On the widest part, it's just uh, fitted on the widest part. So our hips um, are 36. And then to uh, measure the arm width, the arm width is basically the circumference around the upper arm. And then the upper arm will have something like this. Now the arm width is very different from the arm wall measurement. There are two different things. And the arm wall measurement will be around here. So this is where the um, arm wall measurement is. And um, when you're measuring arm wall, it shouldn't be tight. It should be a little free because um, you want to be able to raise your hand, bring it back, you want to be able to do that. So it should be a little bit um, free. So I'm going to measure our arm wall as um, 16. That is the arm wall. Now the arm width is different. It's the circumference around the biceps, which is the upper arm. So I'm going to measure this and measure this. Measure it like this. So our arm width is 12, which is the circumference around our bicep. So if I want to cut sleeves for her, I'm going to use the 12 inches as um, the width of the sleeves and very for the cause of our eyes. You know, so that's um, our arm width, you know. And then you can, um, if you look at the um, our arm, the width from the upper part, you know, it tapers down and then it's more here and then gradually it becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. And then the width here is different. We have 12 at the upper part and then here is separate. So say for instance, I'm making something that's um, long sleeve for her. I will need to put that into consideration. Take a width around here and take another width around here. And for the arm length, say you want to measure the length of the sleeves that you want to cut. You need to measure from this ball, ball and socket joint. There's a joint here, you know, where the arm is rotate. That's where you start to measure from. And then you measure from there, all the way to wherever you want the sleeve to stop. If you want the calf sleeve, you'll be stopping around here or here. If you want a short sleeve around here, if you want a three-quarter sleeve around here. Okay, so yeah, for the so for the arm length, um, basically that's how you do. Remember, I said calf sleeve. You measure from here all the way wherever you want it to stop. Short sleeve, um, mid length, three-quarter, and if it's long, you stop all the way here. Um, if you want to measure the neck depth, now remember I said everything starts from here. The joining of the front and back, you start there and then it slots towards the middle because all the neck shaping is usually um, in the middle uh, to wherever you want um, the neck to stop. So say you want um, the neckline to be this low, you take it from here and stop um, here because you want it to be this low. So um, basically that's how to measure neckline. Um, say for instance, I want to measure like a length from the shoulder all the way to the floor. Say I want to make a long press for her. I'm going to start from here. I am going to, I'm not going to measure straight like this. I'm going to take um, the table, guide it, guide it around that course, underneath our boss point, and then take it and then go down all the way to the floor. Now I usually don't like to stop um, here because if she's wearing shoes, then the dress is not long enough. So I take it and then I stop from here all the way. I stop on the floor. 
that's how I like to start. But if you look at the table, you see that the table stops at 60 inches and it's not long enough. So this is 60 on the body. So I just hold the 60 and take my table again from one and continue from where 60 stops and then all the way to the floor. So I have an extra 3 inches after the 60, which means our full length is going to be 60. Which means our full length is going to be 63. Say I want to make a short dress for her. I start measuring from here. I go over here, which is a box point. The reason why I don't do this is because uh, if I do this, I'm going to have a false one. Okay, let me show you. If I do this from here, I have 22 inches. But if I do this underneath here, and then I go here, you can see I have about 22 and 3 quarter. That's the reason why you go over the box, you go underneath the box point, and then you take it to wherever she wants it to stop, and then Say she wants to stop here, which is 40 inches. If you want to make a short skirt for her, you start from the waist where she puts her skirt, which is around here, and stop wherever you want the skirt to be. And, and um, that's how it basically goes. So those are the basic um, ways to take measurements. I forgot to show you shoulder. Can you turn this? So if you want to measure the shoulder, you measure from the border socket joint here, which is somewhere here. You start from here. I stop at the second one. So if I was to measure a shoulder starting from here and ending here, I'm going to have 16 inches. So I can rightly say that a shoulder measurement is 16 inches. And those are the basic um, measurements uh, to take if you have to measure somebody or you have been asked to send measurement um, to someone. I hope you've been able to learn something from this video from me and Faith today. I'll see you in my next video, but you won't be seeing Faith. It's going to be just me in the next video. Thanks for watching again. Don't forget to um, like this video, subscribe to this video, share with your friends, um, follow us on social media, on Facebook, it is Tolu Me The Fashion People, or Tolu Me Abiola. On Instagram, it is at Tolu Me TFP. And our email, where you can send us um, messages and emails, is Tolu Me TFP at gmail.com. I'll see you in my next video, but you won't see it, like I said. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.